guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I have a special treat for you guys. And here she is. I don't actually know if you can see the Game Boy from here. I'll go ahead and pull up on the screen once I get it into the GameCube so you guys can see some stuff of that. But this Onyx is insane. So this Onyx, I found it over the summer before we were going to the Pokemon World Championship. I decided to replay Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. And on my way, I was training in Victory Road uh, leveling up some Pokemon, trying to complete the Pokedex, just evolving some stuff, and I accidentally encountered a shiny Onyx on the way. Now what's crazy about this shiny Onyx is that it was full odds, 1 in 5,000 chance I think, or maybe a little bit higher than that or lower, but just around that area. So I was really excited when I found this Pokemon. I haven't found a shiny Pokemon in Gen 3 since I was like super young, so seeing this one really got me really excited. So the point of today's video is going to be getting this Pokemon all the way from fire red and leaf green we're gonna be transferring it up we're gonna be playing with it along the way just doing different stuff and I want to bring it into Pokemon Sword and Shield and we're gonna have some curry with it um, so I don't really know how long this video is gonna be probably pretty long probably decent enough but hopefully this is some fun content for you guys to watch now I have a quick question before this video starts I want to know from you guys what is the coolest Pokemon that you've ever caught or that you have recently brought over from an old game that you now have in the Pokemon home or Pokemon Sword and Shield now let me know in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get ready for the video one of my prized possessions is right here in my hands I don't know if you guys can see it but this is a GameCube but this isn't just any GameCube this GameCube has a adapter on the very bottom right here, you guys can see it. It has a game area. You can take any um, Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color game and you can just stick it right in here. And you're able to play Game Boy games on your, um, your GameCube, but you have to have a certain disc that came with it. This white disc that's inside here, I've actually heard that it's a pretty rare disc and can go for quite a bit of money. I don't know how true that is, um, but we got this when we were really young. Thank you, Mom, out there if you're watching right now. Thank you for all the stuff. We were super spoiled as kids. Mom just got whatever we wanted. But let's go ahead and get started on today, and then I'm just going to explain what we're going to be doing with the video. I'm going to show you guys all the stuff you're going to need if you haven't been able to transfer your Pokemon and if you want to transfer them. Now, I think it's really important to transfer Pokemon as soon as possible because I watched a video earlier, and it really going to be worried about the future of Pokemon Bank. Like, once Pokemon Bank goes out of service, will Pokemon in the older games be locked? away forever never to be able to be transferred into the new Pokemon games that's kind of scary to think about so I want to get my Pokemon transferred over as soon as I can all right so for step one you're going to need yourself an original DS it can be any DS just not a 3DS it has to at least have the Game Boy port at the bottom so you can put Game Boy games inside of it and uh, you have to have a working um, area for like the DS games and stuff I'm gonna be using Pokemon platinum version to transfer my Pokemon up from leaf green all the way to uh, platinum but here's the tricky part to get it from generation 4 pokemon game to a generation 5 pokemon game you actually have to have two ds's i have a 3ds here and a regular ds here i'm gonna put pokemon black in this ds and keep pokemon platinum in this ds and then you download play um the transfer on this DS and you play a quick mini game which transfers the Pokemon to generation 5 on this DS here. So once you have your Pokemon on your copy of Black and White 2, then you can take it and put it on Pokemon Bank which is in the DS, it's an app and I think it's like 12 or $15 a year. Um, I do have the year subscription right now, it runs out this summer. But once you do that, you have to have your 3DS and you have to have it open on the Pokemon Home. I'll show everything in the video later, but you also have to have a Switch and Pokemon Bank subscription. So. Once you do that, you log on Pokemon Bank, it'll display a code which you enter on your DS and then after a little bit of time, it transfers them over. I'm not sure exactly how much time it has differed between the attempts that I've done. And then finally, we can take our Onyx and play with it on Pokemon Sword and Shield. I will definitely get some clips of me playing with it, feeding it curry and stuff, and we'll probably actually evolve it into a Silix. Now that I've kind of explained how we're going to transfer these Pokemon from different console to console up to generations, all the way up to Sword and Shield, I'm going to go ahead and get some gameplay footage put up on the screen and kind of explain it as we're going through it once again. Pokemon Leaf Green, one of my favorite games of all time. Generation 3 is where I have spent the most of my time playing Pokemon, to be honest. So we go ahead and we're going to get out our Onyx and we're going to go uh, check its summary and stuff. We're also going to put it in, in a battle just to see the animation and stuff. I like to look at all the animations whenever I'm playing the game to see... Uh, what they're gonna look like in different games because uh, each one has a different animation like for the shiny sprites and for 
for how they like present themselves in battle the little different animations that they made all right we are fighting a ratata here we're gonna go ahead and use dragon breath and knock that thing out hopefully well we didn't even knock it out but hyper fang is gonna hit us for nothing um, but that's it for onyx in generation three uh, there's not much to it uh, it's a it's a pretty bland sprite but it is old and it was really good for the time i really do enjoy generation three pokemon but it is time to go ahead and turn on the ds and transfer this pokemon over to platinum version so i transferred a few pokemon with this one so uh one of those pokemon is mewtwo you see as elf um so you'll see those throughout the game and stuff um but after we encounter this mewtwo we do go up on the ledge and we do find ourselves the onyx that we've been looking for all day long and just look at this thing that is such a beautiful pokemon i love seeing shiny pokemon especially in the older games uh, i think I miss the sprites over the 3D. The 3D is cool and stuff, and it's really great. Um, but I just wish that there was a way that we could make it look 2D again. Like if there was like an option. I know that one Pokemon game, or not Pokemon game, that one Dragon game has an option for that. Um, but let's go ahead and get this dude into a battle. We're gonna battle a Float Seal here, and sending out Onyx, we can see what the shiny version looks like from our side, um, and we can check out a few of his moves too. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use Dragon Breath again just to see what it looks like. It's a big difference from the last game for sure. Uh, there's a lot more pixels and stuff in this game. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and pull out our second DS and start transferring this dude over to black and white. So it makes you pick six Pokemon to transfer over as you guys can see here. And we're gonna go ahead and start playing this mini game. Now this is the one thing that I hate. I really hate playing this. Um, it's not very fun at all, and it takes forever to transfer your Pokemon. I think the more rare the Pokemon is, the more it, the more likely it is to get, get away. But we're going to go ahead and send out Onix into a battle here against this Growlithe, and that is just beautiful. I think Gen 5 is peak sprite work. I love the way they look when they move and stuff, um, but I, I just wish that there was another generation for this. All right, so we have one more transfer, and then we're so close to Pokemon Home. This is the last... Uh, this was the last hard transfer, but here's the easiest one. We're going to go ahead and use the transport system and then get it into Pokemon Home. And from Pokemon Home, we're going to go ahead and put it in Pokemon Ultra Moon just so I can get a look at it. And here we are going into a battle against this Snow Runt. This Snow Runt is about to get wrecked. And just look at that shiny animation. That is beautiful. We're going to go ahead and go for Iron Tail for the super effective attack. And we're going to knock this bad boy out really quick. And we're going to go into the Pokemon Ami feature and start petting our little Onyx. Now, this is our first time we are hands-on with our Pokemon. Um, and it's, it's really cool. I'm so glad. Um, I didn't put it in Pokemon X and Y because there's really no point in putting it in the Generation 6 games when you can just transfer it straight up to Generation 7. And it's basically the same thing. You can pet your Pokemon. You can feed them. But in this game, there is another feature, and that is taking the photos. Here is the photo club. I did make a quick uh, photo of this, and it's pretty cool. But we went ahead and we transferred our Pokemon to Pokemon Home on the Switch. And now we can finally get it into the newest version of the game. And transferring it on over, see how my lit wicks. Here is Onyx. Let's go ahead and check out his stats, and you guys can see that it is basically the same. Uh, we did get a little bit of XP along the way and a few... Uh, EVs because we did battle some Pokemon, but I think it's time to battle somebody and the best person to battle against is another Onyx Just to compare the shiny Pokemon in Sword and Shield sending out Onyx and checking out the animation those stars I love seeing those stars in this game Pokemon Sword and Shield has like some of the best animation I do love the sprites more, but I, I can't deny that Sword and Shield does look good But besides battling we can also open up our Pokemon camp and check out our Pokemon now Onyx is a crazy big Pokemon, so playing with it is kind of scary. Uh, we can wave this around and he will attack us and he will hit us very, very hard. You like that Onyx? <laughs> Alright, now we can start cooking. So if we go ahead, we fan the flames and then we can start stirring the curry and then put a little bit of our heart into this thing, we will have our curry finished. And does Onyx like it? I don't know, let's take a bite and see and he loves it of course. All right, Onyx, now that you've ate your curry, it's time for your special surprise. We are going to take this Onyx and evolve it. Using a second switch, I put a steel coat on um, our Onyx, and he can now evolve and become his final form. 
And let's go ahead and look at this shiny. I really do love the uh, evolution animation in this game. Um, I wouldn't put it as the top, but it is one of the best ones. I really do love the way it looks. And here we are, a shiny Onyx, or shiny Steelix now. Let's go ahead and get this guy into the Pokemon camp and see what he looks like. And he is just as massive and even cooler looking, even scarier to be honest. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this clip. Um, this was a short video, just a quick uh, video on me transferring an Onyx that I found a while back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to tell me what the craziest Pokemon you guys have in your Pokemon home is. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.